I have uh, a very important candidate running from uh, Calgary Northwest, uh, Sonia Savage, and she's running for uh, MLA and she's representing UCP. And I'm really honored and pleased to have her with us uh, in this uh, uh, show. And uh, I think this is a great honor for not just me, it's a great honor for our community as well. Thank you very much, Sonia, for being here. So the basic question is that why are you running for this MLA seat? Well, assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. And uh, so it's a, it's a real pleasure for me to be here with you. And uh, I guess, why am I running? Um, well, I've lived in Alberta all my life and I've known that people come here. Um, they come here to our country and to our province because they've always known that Alberta is a place that if you work hard and you have the right attitude and you persevere, you know you can succeed. But in the last four years, we've lost that. Um, we've got an economy that has not made it, it has made it very difficult for people to get ahead, and we're losing our edge. And that's why I'm just, that's why I'm running. Good, and uh, nice to see that you're learning some Urdu as well. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying, thank good. you. Good, Tanya. And uh, secondly, you know, people, uh, to make a good choice for the people, you know, there are different parties which are contesting, and uh, why UCP? Well, UCP is the is the uh, party that will defend our energy sector. It's the party that is standing up for jobs, to, for our economy. It's the party that wants to get our deficit and debt back to balance. So that's why UCP. Um, we're headed in this province to uh, a debt of nearly a hundred billion dollars. <coughs> Alberta and Calgary in particular has the highest unemployment in this country at 7.3%, um, 183,000 people out of work. It's simply not sustainable to continue down that path and the UCP has a, has a plan to get people back to work. Right. And Jason has uh, announced the platform yesterday. He did. Yeah, so what does that platform actually mean for the whole Alberta? Well, for, for Alberta, our, our platform is very much concentrated on jobs, economy, and pipelines, getting people back to work, um, bringing the economy back, getting our budget back to balance, standing up for our energy sector, and building pipelines, pushing back against Ottawa. So that means a lot for Alberta, because if we don't have that, we don't have the, the uh, revenue and the income to sustain our our uh, social services, our health and education to the way that we've become accustomed to and that we deserve in this province. We need a healthy economy for that. So uh, how is the, your campaign going? It's great. We're having a lot of fun. We're, uh, we've got a big volunteer team. We've been out door knocking every day. We spend about six hours a day um, at least at the doors and in the mornings we're meeting with uh, groups of people and, and getting our message out. Uh, it's a very committed volunteer team. So how is the response so far? It's great. It's great. People are ready for change. Um, people have had, have watched for the last four years under an NDP government. They've watched the decline in the economy and they've had enough. They're ready for change. Right. And how about uh, your personal contribution for, uh, you know, because everybody is concerned about the oil and gas and you have the background right. of pipeline. So what do you think uh, your background is going to be contributing for the whole uh, success of the party? Well, I've, I guess, uh, thank you for that. I've spent the last 13 years working in the pipeline sector. Nine of those years I worked at uh, Enbridge on projects like the Northern Gateway Pipeline. Um, the last three and a half years I've spent at the Canadian Energy Pipeline Association. In all those years, I've spent time fighting for pipelines, um, working on projects, understanding the context that, that you need to be successful with pipelines and we were building a lot of pipelines in this province and in this country until 2015 and that all changed and that's because of the governments. So what I see lacking um, in the pipeline, uh, uh, getting pipelines built is governments both in Edmonton and in Ottawa prepared to defend our energy sector and prepared to, to do what it takes to get these projects through. Very good. And uh, Sonia, because in, in my community there is a lot of uh, you know, fear mongering and scare mm -hmm. tactics uh, regarding the UCP, that UCP is an anti-immigrant party, anti-Muslim party. What do you say about that? 
Well, we actually have the most diverse uh, group of candidates of any political party in Alberta's history. We've got people that come from all, all over the world. Sonia, uh, let's suppose you are elected, right? And what would be your three most important priorities when you are in the government? Sure. Well, um, we, uh, if, if we were elected and we elect a, a cons United Conservative government, uh, we're going to recall the legislature right away because we, we don't want to waste any time. Um, we'll have a we'll be sitting over the summer in a special legislative session, but it'll start right off the bat with Bill One, and Bill One is repeal the carbon tax act. So the very first thing we will do is scrap the carbon tax. Uh, followed by that, we will have Bill Two, which is the Open for Business Act, and that piece of legislation will be. Uh, a, a larger piece of legislation to, to to show that we are serious about getting Albertans back to work, about helping small businesses, helping larger businesses, helping bring back investment to Alberta. And three, I mean, we're doing a lot of that to bring back jobs. We have to create jobs and we have to improve the, the economy and make this place in Alberta the best place to to work and raise a family and uh, live your life. So that's the three most important things that we'll be doing right from the get-go. And how about the education? So the education system, we've been committed to, uh, you know, there's no cutbacks in it. But what you'll see in education over the last four years in NDP government, we've actually gone backwards. Um, we have larger classrooms. We have classrooms that have more complexity in it. Students who need more help. We have schools that are behind. We're not building enough schools. So there's, we've actually gone behind in education, and we have to fix that. We have to support the frontline teachers. We have to improve the classroom sizes, and we have to give, uh, create a curriculum that we know will uh, help students when they graduate find jobs. We're not competitive. Our, our children are going out of school not um, not learning the essentials that they need to find employment. So there is a lot of halabu about uh, GSAs and uh, stuff like that. What is your response to that? Well, the G GSAs, I guess, uh, where where we're committed to be is the exact same place as where some of the the other provinces, as uh, Ontario, Kathleen Wynne, what she brought in in Ontario, and BC, the new New Democrats, and in, in BC, and that is um, children. It's all about safety. Um, ch children, uh, if they're in school and a teacher is, uh, is, is concerned that a parent should know for safety reasons for the children that there's a child that's in has joined a, a GSA that it's okay to inform the family. Um, the current uh, legislation, Bill 24, makes that illegal for a teacher to tell a parent uh, under any any circumstances that their child is joined to GSA, we'll just be uh, uh, going, you know, supporting the safety of the child first and foremost. So there is a lot of propaganda going against UCP regarding the that people say that it's, it's an anti-immigrant party, anti-Muslim party, and mm -hmm. there are you know there are a lot of people who are saying that if they, if you vote for them, you know they will go against the Muslims and the immigrants. What's your response to that? Well, I guess I'd, I'd start by looking at um, who our candidates are. And we have a very uh, a diverse set of candidates. Uh, we've got, um, right across the province, we have people running for the UCP that come from all over the world, from every different uh, cultural background, ethnic background, religious background. It's a very diverse group of candidates that all have come together and share ideas. So it's. I, I don't understand those criticisms of the party because I don't see it and I certainly don't share it. I see a party that wants uh, um, all Albertans to, to, to succeed, to be able to create the um, type of uh, province where everybody can get ahead. Sonia, can you please tell us about the, the policy of UCP regarding the pipelines exclusively? Because people are very concerned about uh, you know oil and gas and a lot of people are laid off. So how are you going to tackle that? So I guess we'd start with uh, the situation we're in right now and how we got to where we're, we're at. And uh, we've had, uh, when the NDP government came into power in 2015, we had several pipeline proposals to the east, one to the east coast, 
two to the West Coast, one to the States, all, uh, you know, all under review. Um, while the NDP were in, Northern Gateway was vetoed by Justin Trudeau in Ottawa, and Rachel Notley didn't say anything. We had Energy East was cancelled by the proponent because it was the regulatory goalposts kept changing. Right. Rachel Notley said nothing. And they bet it all on one last pipeline, the Trans Mountain Pipeline. And so that we're in a terrible situation um, of several failed pipeline projects because of the NDP and one left. So we're in this position because Rachel Notley didn't stand up and defend pipelines. So what are we going to do different? Because we get asked that at the doors a lot. Well, I guess we're going to start with defending Alberta's constitutional jurisdiction and defending pipelines. Uh, there's two pieces of legislation coming before the Parliament in Canada, coming before the Senate, Bill C-69, the No More Pipeline Bill, and Bill C-48, the, the tanker ban. Uh, Rachel Notley has allowed that to go through the House without saying anything. Um, she hasn't stood up and defended it. Well, if that legislation passes through the Senate, one of the first things that the UCP government will do is litigate. We will claim we will litigate for its under its constitutionality because um, those bills are devastating for Alberta. Number two, we will actually stand up and start defending our energy sector against foreign foreign funded environmental organizations who are defaming our industry. Um, we will open a war room in the Department of Energy and within that we will uh, we will uh, have bring in a PR campaign to su in support of our oil and gas. But three, um, one unique opportunity that we see ahead is the um, there's a growing coalition of premiers across Canada right. who actually support uh, Alberta's oil and gas industry, who actually support getting our product to market. And that's from uh, uh, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, New Brunswick, and when Jason Kenney becomes Premier, Alberta too. So that's a very strong vocal group of Premiers who can push back against not only Justin Trudeau in Ottawa, but against other provinces who uh, stand in the way of our constitutional right to get uh, product to market. And finally, um, one thing we will do different um, is if we don't have a pipeline to Tidewater under construction, by the fall of 2021, we will hold a referendum on equalization to remove the equalization formula from the Constitution in Canada. Um, because Albertans have been very generous, we've contributed to, uh, to uh, the feder Federation, but if the Federation and, and other provinces are going to block us from getting our product to market, we'll hold a referendum on equalization. Wonderful. Uh, wish you great luck, uh, Sonia. And uh, as you said, people are uh, you know very excited about the campaign. Mm -hmm. Wish you a great campaign and wish you great success. Thank you very much, Sonia. Shukriya for inviting me. <laughs> thank you very much and thank, thank you for you. learning Urdu as well. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.